Jackie Cash and Lori Kilmartin. Jaqueline, how was your week off? <laughs> Jacques. Uh, <laughs> my week off was delightful. We went to a town to which there was very little internet mm-hmm. and very little cell phone reception. And so it was a forced, forced retreat into the world that was not uh, planned quite this much, right? Wait, Solvang doesn't have uh, doesn't have cell phone reception. Very little, and and the internet at this very fancy hotel was shitty. Okay. And so I couldn't. Uh, it was hard to do things, and it was really for the best. Uh, because uh, I read a lot of comic books. I sat around, I walked around a town that is approximately six blocks square mm-hmm. for five days. Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we left on Saturday. So for four full days, nice. we walked around six blocks and um, we bought some crap. We bought some Christmas uh, jingle jangle. Is it all Christmassy? We- Yep. Oh my God. It was so Christmas. And my son up there. Oh my God. So in this hotel, which was called the cork. And as Andy uh, pointed out, they're leaving money on the table, not serving uh, a cork madame or a cork monsieur, which is a croque madame. And a croque monsieur is a sandwich, a French it's there's cheese, whatever. That's not, (laughs) my money is not being left on that. I don't even know what you're saying. Amen. And um, so uh, but we, he brought he brought several games that uh, he had gotten as gifts uh, from what he calls the shelf of shame that he's never played, <laughs> and uh, he, he brought uh, hundreds of comic books. I am literally forty comic books behind him, wow. and um, I read a dozen, and then he added six more to my pile. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we played several board games. We we read a lot of comic books. We walked around a lot and we ate at various different Danish themed restaurants until finally we could eat no more Danish and we had ramen. Uh, They had one ramen restaurant that was open for three hours every day. Wow. Had eight tables. You had to sit outdoors. Okay. And uh, there was also a tiki bar that served no food. We looked inside it. There were four tables and it was open for three hours each night. And there was a, a pho place that was open for three hours each night. Everything else, the, like the town closed down at six. Everybody was in their 60s and 70s. Oh, or wow. it was, and so the TV was mediocre as well. And so we had a lovely, where we had, I read books. We didn't do anything. It was That's great. That's nice. That yeah, was real nice. Barcelona also closes down at dinner time and then reopens uh when you want to go to sleep uh it's very right? boring to not have food at your at your at your fingertips 24 7 right it is not the 7-eleven of japan <laughs> and uh but the uh we also i dragged him to the indian casino because that is 24 hours and it was about four and a half minutes away oh, all right and um he's game designer right so he yeah. was he's never he doesn't gamble he doesn't play slot he doesn't he was just fascinated he just kind of was like looking he's like why are these people here it's the middle of the i was like yes they have a problem they're here with their retirement money uh for eight to twelve hours a day and it is a fitting end to their creepy fucking lives. Anyway, no, I did not say that. <laughs> but uh, it's so the... sad though. Somebody worked really hard for that money, and it's probably <laughs> not them. <laughs> like it's probably either a spouse or a parent or somebody, like or them. But they're not leaving it to their kids. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that seems more like just a direct uh, hostile act of having fun <laughs> to to piss off your kids as opposed to the addiction of just sitting in front of a slot machine. Um, Well, and they want to win. And, but what I like to do, not a lot because I could see it becoming a problem is I like to play blackjack. Well, he didn't, Andy knows the idea of blackjack. And so what I like to do is to take 40 or a hundred dollars and light it on fire. 
and say to myself, this is me having a good time yeah. sitting at a table with career crazies and we all know how to play blackjack or we don't. And then I moved to a different table and Andy was fascinated by the game design of the fact that there is no dis direct blackjack anymore that you play blackjack, but then there's always these side bets where it's lucky if your top two and the, the dealer's top card all equal 19 or if they're all sevens or if they're all, or it's a seven, eight, nine, it's a small straight or something. Then you get, and you can bet it's tiny. Like, it's like the stock market. Like there's like puts and margins. I don't even know the words. I don't know the definitions of the words I just said. <laughs> I know there are people betting against this against a stock for a stock betting it's going to hit a certain number and it's mm -hmm. a, there's different types of terms for this kind they've of turned blackjack into craps is what they've done it's they've okay. made it much more complicated and yeah. i just want to sit next to an old guy literally smoking a cigarette wow <laughs> because it's an indian casino and it's the only other revenge they've got oh. so <laughs> uh is it can I ask, are, is it still being called uh, an Indian casino? It's not like a native, they're, they're still using- They're all called Indian casinos. Okay. I thought about it because remember I used to do that joke, I did it on Conan about oh, Indian yeah, yeah, casinos. Yeah. yeah, and I got a little bit of blowback when I posted it one time a couple of years ago about calling it an Indian casino. And I was like, because I called it an Indian casino and then I called the people who ran it Native Americans and the food that was not being served as Native American. Because Andy said that it was sad that there weren't Native American restaurants. That was the premise of the, of yeah, the yeah. Uh, funny joke. Anyway, <laughs> but, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. I'd see my published works. You're doing great. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, Instagram Reels, by the way, is sending me money these days. Wow. Three months. Three months of me s sending those. You got to opt in for bonuses. What do you mean opt in for bonuses? Uh, if you go to, if you might see a, a thing on your Instagram that says professional dashboard. Okay. Uh, I'm not verified. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with that. You go to like your main page. Yeah. Professional dashboard. Okay. And on professional dashboard, there is, um, yeah, your tools, okay. add tools and bonuses, bonuses. Uh, I do have a green check mark next to eligible. And then underneath that, if you go back to where bonuses are, you can also go to monetization, which is okay. new. And you can, um, do they, you can, can uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. We can talk about it, but. Is it, can you, is it enough? Uh, post a number. Can you tell oh. us? Sure. I can, I can tell you that uh, I've done it September, October, and November, and September paid me 300 bucks. Uh, October paid me 150. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, November paid me 250. And uh, supposedly, and you can check sort of the estimated amount of what they think they're going to give you. And so in progress, Reels Play Approximate bonus, $434. So that's uh, doubles double than what I made last time. That's starting to add up. Yeah. So it it helps uh, pay this, the the non-existent sound exchange that I'm not getting, right? Uh, when do, so when do we get another, uh, when do we find out for the next month? In like a week or 24th? So? Usually we get it oh, on the 24th. Really? Uh, yeah, like it's the 18, oh, Christmas Eve, that's true. Merry Christmas, lump of coal. Uh, yeah, so are you watching any Christmas shows? You doing any? In, no, in, in, we started watching Arrested Development. because Oh, that's, we, there's money in the banana stand, man. Oh my God, <laughs> we finished uh, Malcolm in the Middle. So great, so great. And it, it's, it's heartbreaking to let it go. I love the family and I want to check up on them. Um, but, uh, the kid, did you ever watch it? No. Okay. <laughs> One of the younger kids doesn't, he, he doesn't want, the actor doesn't want anything to do with like reunions or anything. So it's like, ah, oh, it's a bummer. I mean, but totally understandable. These are, they were, how many seasons? Actors. Oh, they were seven seasons. So oh, that's plenty. You saw them get grow, completely grow up. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, except for like the oldest. God, I, I hope they bought there. land. That's like when I think of Amy Anderson's daughter. I hope she, I know that Amy's taking care of her daughter, but yeah. Oh, yeah. so 
Michael Sarah is in Arrested Development. Oh, I was confusing it. Malcolm in the Middle. My bad. Yeah, Malcolm in the Middle is Frankie Muniz, mm. and um, and then the other three are. But the the one who plays the older brother is half brother to Danny Masterson, the rapist. But he's not a rapist. I guess his half uh, is not rapey. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> nature versus nurture. <laughs> But uh, but anyway, so we're we're on to Arrested Development, and it's so funny. I watched it sporadically when it first aired, and uh, I watched it until it became my dad in jail. (laughs) I could not do it. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I literally, I was like, "There's money in the banana stand," and then we would have been the kind of people that would have burned the banana stand down. And then he would have been like, "I can't believe I told you," and you're like, "Well, we thought you meant the insurance money." So. (laughs) whatever but that happened like in episode two so it seems yeah. like you dropped out immediately immediately my friend okay yes i watched iron man 3 um <laughs> the free guy and uh um oh deadpool 2 uh those are the three movies i've watched in the last couple of days <laughs> jessica walter says I, I think this is, I'm probably not phrasing it correctly exactly, but she says, I don't understand the question and I refuse to answer it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my God. So, and, and it's so many in jokes that, and, and stuff where I'm like, I don't think my son even knows what the fuck you're talking. Like he doesn't know who George Michael is. That's the name no. of Sarah's character. You know what I mean? Okay. Just for, if I were to explain everything, I don't think he gets. We'd just be pausing constantly. But the performances are so funny that you don't need to get every single joke if you don't want. No, no, to. like there's just layers. That's the good thing. That was oh, one of the yeah. great things about it. So, what yeah. season are you on on the rest of development? We just started. We just started. So we're season one. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Um, All right. So uh, I I read his webtoon. I want a helm uh, 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 a backpack web. T-shirt. Always go to T Public. Put the art on there. Okay. I'll, I'll get one. It'll cool. be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's uh, pretty excited about that. That's going okay. You know? Good. Good. Um, I had sporadic sets this week. Um, I had, I had sets. I just, I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. I hate this time of year is hard. And uh, when, when I'm, uh, I, again, I just feel loose and, uh, you know, I like to be contained in a little job and I feel like everything, my, all my guts are sprawled all over the place. <laughs> right. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing tight holding you on any sort of, like, there's no bumpers, right? right. Exactly. So I feel good. It's not me. It's been a and, while. It's been a while since you've been this loosey goosey. So maybe ever. Right. Did you go from a day job to a writing job? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like when I, before I moved to New York, I was just a comic for a like. Okay. But my job was to live at home with my parents. (laughs) Like all I had to do was make enough money for my car payment and insurance. And I think Kaiser, which was like nothing. um, And that was it. So I, I maybe had to make like 400 a month and. Which can be done. Oh, on like, shitty shitty stand-up pay oh yeah as a 90s feature you could make 400 a month as a 2022 feature you can still make 400 oh a month God. sadly mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> yeah it's not so good long. yeah um so uh yeah um uh let me get you back i'm watching kyle do homework now i don't know why that- <laughs> carry the three <laughs> oh that's um, where i went wrong <laughs> um, so, so. so yeah uh, uh so yeah so still, where'd no. you go up oh i did a show last night i, I did a don't tell in orange county that's right yeah in costa mesa that Such was quite a good a show it, it, it was fun it was it was quite a drive though uh yeah like an hour and a half Oof. down and maybe like an hour back uh did some flapper shows I had a I have a Hopefully we'll, they'll give me a video because they had some pretty funny crowd work with a guy who was uh, doing his insurance work in the front row on his iPhone. Front row. <laughs> <laughs> insurance. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Company. Oh, Friday, well, night. Friday night. Friday night. You got to be uh, able to put your phone down, people. Yeah. Um, I had spots here and there. Nothing, um, you know, I'm just like, uh, you know, don't have a new 
chunk I'm super excited about. Like, like I have newish stuff and it's, you know, now I'm tightening it up. So like now it was two minutes. Now it's a minute, but it's working better, but it's like, oh, right. Right. And now you have to write another nine minutes. Uh, but the, but tomorrow, tonight, what'll be tonight, Sherman Oaks. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the Oaks Tavern, the three of us with the bit Yeah. It, like hotcakes, right? M's hot, M's hot cakes. cakes with Emily Kerr. I thought that was a separate show, and I was like, "All right, Kyle, I'll do your show, but I have to navigate with, with my hotcake show." And then, uh, <laughs> of course, it's the same show. Unfortunately, it's a single show. <laughs> just one, just one set. And then Wednesday, we're doing the Hollywood Improv, the three of us, yeah. as well, yeah. along with Jeannie Yashere, and a special guest. I cannot tell you who it is, but it's not that I can't tell you because it's some sexual predator that I want to surprise you with when you show up and <laughs> Jeff Ross is there. But it's uh, instead, it's just someone who uh, has a very enthusiastic fan base and they would Name. like uh, to just do stand-up comedy. Name. So, oh, you, oh, I didn't tell you who's going to be there on Wednesday? No. Oh, yeah, throw that in the chat. Is oh, okay. I'm feuding with? Yeah, someone you Running, hate. Running, obviously. Uh, obviously. I, I, that's what it is. It's a standoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's be a blood oh my gosh yeah no, it's gonna be a no good way. show oh, isn't that great real bad isn't that amazing so wait Jeannie this, Ashere, person, this person doing, yes Gina's amazing I haven't seen her in a really long time that's so what funny. I said yeah I asked she's Aisha hot. Tyler too but she's busy directing a feature boo come hang <laughs> I was like I'm so- <laughs> yeah is she still doing Bob Hart's uh, uh She's show. not on Friends anymore. That's what I mostly know. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about Gina. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's still doing Bob's thing. Yeah, okay. with with Billy Gardell. Yeah, right. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then this one. Oh my God. And so we're not allowed to say because their no. fan is insane. Right. Well, just some people are just a little over enthusiastic, and it's just. Uh, and they just yeah. want to low key do their do some stand up. Yeah. And I want to low key fucking watch that. Oh, me too. I'm yeah. going to be high key when I watch. I'll be so excited. I'm pretty, pretty they will be psyched. performing in a phantom half mask as not to be recognized. <laughs> uh, they will be performing normal. And, uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's just, you know, it's not, and it's not Maria because Maria's on, on hiatus till the end of January. Yeah. So, uh, but super fun. It'll be a fun night of stand-up comedy at the lab, 8.30, Wednesday night. Uh, everyone should come. It only seats 60 people. So... <laughs> Guys, this is a good one. Feel this free is- to to fill the room. And we'll know then- if you're not there. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm, I'm an imagining. Email. Uh, yeah, I wonder who's in the main room that night too. I can see people. Just- uh, <laughs> Otsko, Otsko's doing the main room. Oh, hey! Hmm. And I was gonna ask her, but I kind of wanted to give everybody. I want each of you to do tens, and I want the other two to do fifteens because I want to do thirty. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Her HBO special is out. So, guys, That's cool, yeah. she's a former comic of the week, and she has a, a really funny HBO special mm-hmm. out. And it looks mm-hmm. gorgeous, too. She's wearing like this blue outfit, and the background's like this it, it, wavy, and it reminds me of like a San Francisco a little bit, you know, like a 1970s San Francisco kind of look. It's, go- With- it's gorgeous. The, the color yeah. schemes. Um, I wear big earrings because of Otsuko, though. Oh, you do? I bought I bought big earrings because of Otsko. Yeah, uh, because we were I, working together in, in Austin. Yeah. And she had big earrings on. And I was like, yeah. maybe I'll be a person who wears big earrings. Never too and late. Never too late. <laughs> that's what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a holiday, I went to two holiday parties last night. Okay. Hi, hoping not to have any kind of disease. And um the but the first one, I ran into a guy who used to do stand-up comedy. Very funny. Name. Could never do it. Oh, Brian Gannon. Uh, Brian totally. and Brandon Gannon. Uh, brothers. Okay. Uh, Brandon okay. never did stand-up, but uh, they were both. But I haven't seen Brian in over 15 years, so I didn't recognize him. Yeah. And the first thing he said to me was, he was like, is there some gray hair coming in there? Is that is that too much? And I have not said that. And I said, Yes, Brian, the aging process. It's in- inexorable. Uh, I can't I can't fix it. And I tried to fix it when I was up at Solvang. Yeah. I took myself to the Indian Casino again for a spa day. Oh. Got a massage okay. yeah. and a facial mm-hmm. and uh and then played again. I every time each time I played blackjack twice, 
uh, $100 each time, both times won $120 back. So essentially made enough to tip out the dealer and the valet guy. <laughs> so nice. I, uh, I again and, lost the Powerball. Uh, <gasps> did you play again? I play a lot, Jackie. Uh, oh, I did that's not part know. of my retirement. I did that. <laughs> like many Americans. Mm, uh, well yeah. played. Mm -hmm. I lost again. I am, uh, so I've been posting more reels and stuff. And Yeah, I um, saw that. Um, and Anna Bianco, a comic, is has been helping me with, she's been cutting up a few things for me. And oh, me good. Um, but uh, so somebody on TikTok said, oh, I didn't know uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was doing stand-up. Oh, uh, Sally Jesse Raphael over here. Someone else replied, uh, oh, I came here to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking two can both go to hell because I look like Ann Coulter. <laughs> exactly. They don't know who Ann Coulter is. <laughs> so here's the good news about Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's in her 30s, if not oh. her 20s. No, she's in her 40s. She is. I think she's 11 or 12 years old, isn't she? No, she old? does CrossFit, which only people, only middle-aged people do. <laughs> Nobody young uh, does CrossFit. But I'm going to well, How old is she? What's her name? Marjorie Shitbag? Taylor. Yeah, Taylor Green, right? Yes. Age. Let's all find out. Hey, play along at home, Jackie and Lori fans. She's 48. 48. All Told right. You. Told you. Anyway, so from hot yoga. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so Andy's cousin came and stayed with uh, with his mama for the week. OK. And she does yoga. And oh. I was like, well, get Chris to do fucking yoga. And um, <laughs> she did not. But the sad, the really sad. She was she's incredibly nice. I Andy was like, well, let's let's hang out with her. And I was like, as much as I like her. Let's run. Uh, <laughs> run away. <laughs> run away. Uh, as much as I like both of them, let's go do nothing for a week and not oh, think he about was trying it. to delay your vacation to Solvang <laughs> to hang out right. with, with his cousin. cousin. He lived with and his yeah. cousin. Okay. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I can't, and then when we came back, he was like, well, let's go hang out with them. And that and I said, again, yes, it's fine, but not for long. Because we then we have two parties to go to. We went to two parties, and then by eight thirty we were at um, the the Hampton Inn in Burbank by the airport. Oh, where we stayed overnight uh, last night, and then we came and picked up his cousin and drove her to the airport this morning. Nice, mm -hmm. what a getaway you two! The Hampton Inn at Burbank. <laughs> uh, well, we stayed at the fancy Cork in Solvang. Sure, yeah, and then. Uh, yeah. Who doesn't right. want Hilton points? I'm diamond. Oh boy. And uh, so, <laughs> but I'm exactly. diamond. Um, I've been very busy defending uh, the Sussexes on the internet. Uh, I watched the documentary twice. Um, is that Harry and Merkel? Who is that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know who that. Uh, I don't care, but I am being polite enough to wonder who are Prince they? Prince Harry. Prince Harry. The son of Diana. Yep. And his wife, Meghan Markle, now the Duchess of Sus the Duke and the Duchess of Sus Not Merkel. Markle. Okay. No, it's not Merkel. <laughs> it's pronounced Urkel. That's, <laughs> that's the former Chancellor of Germany, Angela. <laughs> that's right. Angela, <laughs> not Angela. Merkel. Yeah. Yep. Different person altogether. Yes. And uh, the uh, very, very interesting arguments and deep dives from all angles um on twitter and i've just been uh reading all of them and am quite obsessed quite obsessed now what's your twitter take i just deleted all everything but my last week's week of tweet tweets interesting um, and, and i assume that i will be told to fuck off at any minute uh because you can't post tiktok or facebook or instagram links and I yeah. mentioned Mastodon, moving to Mastodon, and yeah. I got a pop-up that said, this is a sensitive topic. We're not going to post it. <laughs> Mastodon. 
the other social media possibility. And then and then there was somebody who's like, you should go to Post News. Post, and I was yeah. like, I don't I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, I, 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 I really Twitter to be fixed. I accidentally yeah. fell in love with Twitter. Right. I right. accidentally met a bunch of people that were smarter than me. Yeah. And blocked a bunch of people that were dumber than me and learned things and liked things. And now it's gone. <laughs> and it's truly, truly irritating. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I, but I, Elon Musk is spiraling so quickly and deeply that I don't think this can, I, I, I just can't last. Whatever he's doing, he can't last like this. Something Famous last words, 46 45,000 NFTs, no doubt created by Lenza, the AI, uh, were sold by Donald Trump this week uh, because everyone has $99 for 20 minutes. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, how, how many years have we been saying this can't last with Donald Trump? They're no, going to have to figure this out. No, I know I'm you're talking about, about Elon Musk, but I think Elon Musk has an even bigger safety net because he has at least a billion dollars left, right? What I'm saying is that uh, he he he's allegedly the CEO of three companies. Each one needs somebody uh, that's devoted to it exclusively. You can't run. I don't even think you can do Tesla and SpaceX um, well, right? Tesla's not doing great, and uh, no. and now I mean, I, 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 people are adamantly, I will never buy a Tesla. I'm canceling my order. It's um, Tesla, people are selling. Well, yeah. Tesla shareholders are are like a couple of shareholders are like this guy has got to sell Twitter. I don't know. It's weird. It's just I, I whatever he's doing, it can't keep going at this at this at this rate. You know, it's weird. Mm. I we're we'll obviously we're all just watching to see. Well, and the 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 true. I read an article, very powerful article about um, how it will do nothing but good to oligarchs in every single country if Twitter goes down. Right. So yeah. there is a vested interest money wise yeah. in Twitter going down. And um, and I, you know, I don't want to and we'd all have to learn how to do discord. Are you kidding me? I I have a I can do it if Carmen Morales talks me through it. That's what I can do. <laughs> discord. Um, there are other uh, besides Ma Mastodon is not Twitter. But I couldn't. All, I, Hive has been useless to me. Hive, I already deleted. Uh, <laughs> the, there's something called Spill that's supposedly some Twitter engineers are putting. Some former engineers are doing. Um, I think some some something will rise up in its in its place. Sure. Maybe it'll be a better. It's weird how Twitter kind of just was an accident, and then all of a sudden it it was you know in charge of who became the leader of the United States basically, and and. Uh, so it, it maybe it does need to go down and rebuilt with somebody else, you know, or other a different team, and yeah. we'll all be a little bit smarter when we join on, you know, and and realize, you know, some of these these uh, accounts, some this shit just can't be allowed. It's not it's it's not just because they're allowed to say it legally. It doesn't mean you have to exist on a site with it, like mm. you know. Yeah, I've been doing I've been triaging so many comments on uh, Instagram and um, TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, my TikTok, re the reels are popping on Instagram and not doing the giant numbers that they were doing. Now it's all I have four. I have 20,000 new followers on Instagram. Since when? Uh, two weeks ago. Jeez, that's incredible. But I only have 300 new followers on TikTok. And I put the exact same clips up. Yeah. So I'm at 130,000 on TikTok and I'm at 65,000 on Instagram. Wow. And, but I don't know how or what I'm doing right or wrong. Right. Well, I mean, I, I don't even have a reasonable percentage of those numbers on either of those platforms. So to me, yeah, right. incredible. Well, and who was I talking to? Oh, someone was telling me that in China, they have the, the TikTok is locked in China. You can't be on it for more than 40 minutes <laughs> per 24 hours. Wow. But only within China. 
Interesting. Because they don't want people on for a million years, right? Right. They don't, they want Americans doing that. Yeah, yeah. Americans right. Fighting off and not working. Exactly. Not- Any other country, do whatever you want. The <laughs> Chinese, we got to, we got to do it. Hey, let's take a break. Okay. And let's do our comic of the week. Comic of the week. I just worked there last night in Costa Mesa, Vaughn DeCarlo. V O N D E C A R L O. Vaughn DeCarlo. And uh, what's her Instagram? Yeah. Uh, that's it, at Vaughn DeCarlo. And um, she uh, she's was a New Yorker for like 20 years and has just moved out to the Bay Area, oh, excuse me, to LA. And uh, and so she's getting acclimated, but she's uh, she's on the road a lot. That's uh, neat. Opens for Godfrey a lot, which is oh cool. Sold out houses. That must yep. be funny. Uh, but yeah, she's very funny. Okay. I saw she, that's awesome. Uh, Vonda Von De Carlo. V O N. It's not Vonda. It's Von first. Oh, Von's the first name. De Carlo De- second. No, Von De Carlo's the whole name. Oh, just it's she's all, a one namer. One name. One namer. Well, Von De Carlo. Because it's Von De Carlo Brown is her full name. I'll cut this. Oh really? Oh man. Well, I was calling her Vaughn. So, uh, <laughs> well, you, well, but I you, imagine that could be a shortened version of that. Let me make a note. You're, you're close you know friends. That. You're close friends. You, you, yeah. you hit it off. You're a New York comic. You get it. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I sent in my avails to the stand. I, I, oh. I got a list of uh, hat stores and hippie crystal shops that do stand up in New York. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna this week. I'm gonna work on. Um, getting booked uh in new york because i'll be there the 8th through the 18th of january and um Where are you staying in brooklyn it's uh i'm staying oh, at, you remember uh, yeah you remember that lady's house that's that it was- that's it yes nice should be should be real nice pretty like psyched it. about it very sweet yeah and um though of course brooklyn's hard for me to get around andy bought me as a christmas gift uh i could see the music man with hugh jackman nice yep and i'm gonna go with my my friend from college jenny bergman he bought tickets for both of us and um and that'll be neat uh because hugh jackman's he's almost done playing the music man Mm -hmm. it's the last two weeks of the run we'll be there cool and so um, that'll be really cool. But I'm doing like I, I'm gone all of January. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what it'll mean for <clears throat> him and his mom. But I'm going to Comedy Castle, and then New York, and then uh, Sioux Falls, and then uh, Rooster Tees. Nice. I pitched. Um, I pitched in a, a radio show to an entity let me see and then they pitched back something else when i was like oh interesting and so this is all just very big shit but uh yeah know, we'll see i don't know i'm trying to like uh you know keep throwing ideas out there that's it that's it irons you fire collecting no's no thank yous <laughs> thank you very much no mm-hmm. or no response <laughs> mm. yeah yeah um, um yeah. it was interesting throckmorton pinged me about doing a tuesday i sent i back that i could not do that tuesday but i gave her uh three other tuesdays heard nothing a week or two went by <laughs> i said three more tuesdays and still nothing so she's she's probably in the she she probably has she's only booking a week out and so it's just you know doing it as she goes she probably isn't booking it that far out yeah or so has calm down time. like she just needed you for that one tuesday but she yeah she had a dream or she had an idea for the... <laughs> you are a lot of people's dream jackie when i when i think about it i have a couple new i'm looking forward to set tonight at oaks because i haven't gone up again in yeah. over a week right <clears throat> do i even do stand-up comedy <laughs> do i it feels like it feels it feels like no if you take it a, feels like no if I've taken a whole week off it feels brutal. I and only stayed up three nights last week and I feel like I didn't do comedy. Right, it's uh, it's it's a pity. So, oh, and then we're doing the December twenty sixth. I'm gonna work on that tomorrow as well. 
yes. uh, putting a flyer together and uh, getting oh, a Zoom okay, link cool. for the for the for all the powers that be. Yes. And uh, and then you can throw out some ideas of people who might want to do the show. Okay. Um. Yeah, super fun. Uh, Michelle Obama it has a new book out, and every interview I've seen with her, she just talks about how hard marriage is. <laughs> Oh, it oh really shit! Sounds like Barack Obama was just not there, and she, and it was like she had two kids, and she's she's got a degree. I think she went to Princeton, right? He went to Harvard. She went to Princeton. Like they're intellectually equals, and she was his boss, right? Or she was like a higher up at the company that he came into, and then mm. they got married and. Now all of a sudden she's doing all the parenting. It's really funny because like she'll she'll do an interview where she's like, marriage, it's really hard. You just got to stick with it. And all the comments are like, why? <laughs> why? Why? Because even now, like when it's good, she's still talking about those 10 years where she fucking did everything and her husband was off getting ready to be, you know, president, doing all, doing that. It was uh, very interesting too. Yeah, how, how old are the kids? Got to be in college now, right? Uh, Malia two- graduated, and I think uh, Sasha may have graduated, or she's she went to Sasha went to Michigan, right? And then Malia went to Harvard, so Sasha's oh, no. probably probably close to them. Yeah, so so she spent the last twenty years raising them, and he That's spent the last twenty years being in politics. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, she looks, it's, it's weird. She just, you know how she was probably for a million reasons, very careful. Like she always seemed very careful and planned when she was first lady mm-hmm. and she's a lot more relaxed, like even her facial expressions are just more, it's not like she, you know, I don't know. She seemed very still, like unnaturally still, like maybe you know, she just sort of adopted that persona because she needed to as first lady, but now she just seems a lot more normal. It's interesting. Right. Right. You're, you totally tuned out. uh, (laughs) I did. Well, you started talking about the lives of the rich and famous when I was trying to figure out the name of a comic that I want to have comic of the week one day. Okay. Um, But, uh, and I found her name, so I win. And Everybody um, else got to hear the great Obama story. <laughs> not everything is a competition. I know you're Elliot's daughter and you're always trying to crush me on every podcast. Cr- you know what? Take a wait, break I'm, sometimes. I'm doing your brain. I'm doing your head. I'm crushing your I'm crushing your <laughs> tiny head, your tiny head. And um uh yeah, my brother Scott, I <clears throat> his birthday is Christmas time. Yeah. And uh it's a it's it's a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's not cool. It's not fun. And every five years or so, I remember that. And so this year, I remembered that. And I called him and I was like, hey, what do you want for your birthday or Christmas? And he goes, socks. And I'm like, oh, you're so exciting. <laughs> you're 60. You know yeah. I would love some socks. Well, it. don't say it. it out loud. You're it's... about to get socks. <laughs> no. That's what he got uh. to today. So, um, oh, wow. Yeah, my dad had that same. Uh, same overlooked birthday his entire life and my son's is right next to halloween so you know right so i well, I, our july birthdays we really are killing it except we we're killing it school school parties or anything like that right no school parties but also did not have to bring like cupcakes for everybody right yeah you know how that was a thing mm-hmm. um yeah so i got him that i got him some socks and then i got him one of the non-fiction books that i've read I've read four nonfiction books. I, I realized in the last oh, wow. ten years, eight years, yeah. And um, that splendid in the vial, which is Eric Larson. I'm listening to that right now. It's excellent and it full of hope, kind I of because li- of how. Yeah. I, well, I, I, it's so. I have to listen like two or three more times. I'm gonna have to keep checking it out of the library. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just okay. It, I'm renting it on Libby via Libby, but gosh, it's really good. It's, re- it's did so it just good. Come out? No, no, he's he's had a book out since actually. You know, he writes both fiction and nonfiction. Okay. And this, uh, he wrote that uh, the one about the serial killers in Chicago. Devil White. in the White City. Devil in the White yes. City. That's just one serial killer. 
if right they the don't. first the first serial killer or something right that was right. recorded the guy who worked out of the world's fair and, <clears throat> and yeah. i think it's that's non-fiction right kyle oh, yeah uh, yes right. that's non-fiction yeah. okay but he also say, wrote okay. some fiction i thought wow well uh yeah that book's great it's about churchill's uh that time during the blitz my god i'm just I just and a chapter where everyone's horny they're like <laughs> everyone's <laughs> horny and that's what i loved about it was that it's not from churchill's perspective it's not from yeah. his point of view it's the the letters and diaries and journals from everyone around him yeah right 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 and they talk about his speeches and how encouraging and inspiring and how uplifting they were but they also talk about how crazy it was and all they all tried to live their lives yeah and it genuinely reminds me of our lives today it really does and yes. it gives me some hope that I mean, not that there's another Churchill out there, but there's probably another Churchill because when you look at him as a person, he was a bit of a skid, right? The dude was was not oh, great. Jackie in today's parlance, highly problematic. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, in today's parlance, highly he would be. Oh my God! Um, two two more comics. Two more comics. Speaking of highly problematic. Oh yeah, it's been a it's been a week. <laughs> it's been uh -oh. a reveal. And then is this your card? Or is this your dick? <laughs> Listen, it's so funny to me that like you and me, comics of our generation, we we all just were like, uh, that's just the way they are. Yes. Just, on. I was like, good for you for piping up these two women. Who we were like, this is bullshit. I'm not. Like, Fuck that. And then Fuck put you. on Twitter. I, I'm now, like, that's astonishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I can't make that leap. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, that's just not, it's not in me. But I, I do love watching it. That was the other guy, Kyle. I, I told know. you about, I showed you the first guy. Mm, this oh, afternoon. yes. I but that was the other watching guy. Watching it on Twitter. Oh my God. It was great. It it imploded into itself and 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 they responded the guy, defensively. Respond. Well, actually, directly both, responded. both of them responded. Yes. And you're like, Well, I thought you wanted it. And the other one, that's not true. And you're like, oh uh, I've been around the guy that I typed. Right. Every time I see that guy, I turn around. <laughs> I'm he's just loud. like he's very loud. I, He's he's just obnoxious, unpleasant. So I haven't I haven't experienced him suggesting that uh, I'm so funny that he he would want to rape me, uh, but uh, I do. But other ladies have, and that. But other ladies have, and uh, all I know is that every time, I mean, I think he just looks at me and sees this, like he doesn't. There's there's oh. nothing. Yeah, like yeah, we're, he, we're over thirty, and so yes. there's that those kind of comics that are just like they they immediately you, you can see them separating us and putting us in a closet. So <laughs> they're just like, is there a way I can shut her up? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so can I get her stage time? You can't you cannot <laughs> have my stage time? Um, no? Yeah, is that guy? And then the yeah, it was just and then like, the younger guy who was just gross. And that because that guy's in his thirties too. I mean, the yeah. the older guy's our age, but the yeah, the younger yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, the younger guy is just a just. I mean, wh wh I, I what makes you think? I I'm like I'm raising a man. What are men? What are they up to? Why? What's <laughs> happening? Why? Why? After, here's what I don't understand. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying after we saw what happened with Louis. We all saw it. The world saw it. To me, if, if you're even if you're a guy who likes to do that, mm -hmm. you go, hey, you know what? This could harm me indefinitely if I do it and get caught. So either does part of your brain go, I'm not going to get caught. I guess that's it. Because otherwise you'd go, I'm not going to do that. Or they look at Louis' fan base and they're like, he's still working. This might be fun in the moment. And he's still working. And <clears throat> or, or no one learns from history so we're doomed to <laughs> that is of course a fact uh sadly but uh yeah it it does and there's so many like when you think about it there's just a lot of guys who don't do that right are but there I, but <laughs> yes 
there are. There are many. Know. I haven't been out there, Jackie. I don't know. I'm just assuming the worst. They You're don't get booked the... for shows as much. <laughs> they, right, they're not working as much. And uh, but I think yeah, a lot of drama. Yeah, but, a lot of drama. A lot but of drama. Holiday drama. You know, we're trying we're trying to celebrate Christ's alleged birth. And uh, we, got, we got all these jerking off comics. Come on, fellas, put it back in your pants for the holidays. <laughs> put it in a Christmas stocking. And uh you wanna see some winter solstice? Let's do this. Okay. Um <laughs> let's take a break. Okay. And we're back. Lori yeah. Kilmartin, what are you what what are your dreams for 23? You I want dreams guild, for 23? I want a guild writing job. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh wait a minute. I could I wish I could give you that for Christmas. That'd be uh that'd be I a know. treat. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I mean uh, you know, my big goal is to just be able to stay here through my son's high school graduation. That's what I'm trying to do. Another three years, right? And then we'll see what happens. I mean, I just, I, I, you know, don't want to. Is this his freshman year? Sophomore. Okay, so he's Basically got two more years. Super tight with his uh, swim and water polo team, and it's just like, okay, this is no, no matter what, hell or high water, or you know, whatever. I we stay here no matter what, but yeah. you know, it is getting. It's been over a year of uh, living off of road work, which is really. Um, you know, not. Yeah, I'm not right easy. here. Yeah, no, I'm here. I know, yeah. but you also have a second. <laughs> I don't have a second earner. I have a second right. taker. Right. Yes. Uh, right. So, you are. Yeah. You're. You're holding up this. This. This tree fort all by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Entirely yes. different. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, 2023 is a year where that can change. But um, but also it's it's kind of like a grim time for everybody in show business right now. Stand up is a stand up is its own thing, performing it's its own thing, road work and stuff. But like, uh, the writers guild might be striking soon, which is gonna like kill everything. And it's it's we're probably gonna strike because we're trying to get more money from streamers, and they're not gonna they're gonna fight that hard. You know, we didn't have to strike with um, packaging against the agents because they ended up negotiating and stuff. But this one is gonna be. I feel like it's going to be nasty because they're, they're going to try to keep every penny, you know, but yeah. uh, writer's rooms are like, they're short and uh, it's hard to get it. It's, there's not much work. There's not enough work. And uh, so it's, it's rough out there already without a strike. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's about to be rougher. That's all. Yeah. I don't know. 2022 was actually kind of grim, mm -hmm. but who knows? Right. All we can do is, keep plugging and i don't know how yeah i don't know i don't know like i have so i i recorded in madison um okay th there are now clips of those sets to be made into tracks oh, to be sent cool. to the radio station or xm um and but i have to listen to them and okay them that's another task tomorrow um what you're not gonna take two and a half years to do it like i did no okay. but right. what i'm not gonna do which is what i did with staycation is listen to all five sets okay yeah. i should listen to all five sets and pull tracks from all five sets but i'm not it turns out uh but i have been sent all five sets so i could listen to them um, and if I can stand five hours, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the tracks that were cut for me. Um, and that's, and if I can, okay, them, and then I listen to the other four sets <laughs> or the, re or the rest of that Saturday for a show. Cause that's where they were pulled mostly from. Cause the audience was the biggest. Right. 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 And it, and it was, and it popped the best as you could imagine. Um, well, you listen, you get the ones that you, that you pulled and you just go if one of them sounds you know like a b plus and you're you, you then you can lift you can just listen for that chunk in one of your other sets and see if it can beat it that's it right and if i like all of them i can listen to other four other chunks in the rest of the other sets mm -hmm. yeah yeah it have so to be, it can, there's a way to do it where it's not that, that where anything. it isn't quite as painful so this is material that's already been on albums yes 
and you're resubmitting it because they're not they will they will never play those albums again why my my five albums sirius xm because they were part of the uh, spoken giants lawsuit but you can you sign the thing to take your name off of it right yes so they should be eventually back into rotation you would think um do you have anyone finding out like have your your various record producers looked into why the albums that they produced aren't aren't back in rotation yet um, I believe I asked and might have been given an answer, but I don't have that answer. You have a couple different, right? You have Dan, you have Dominic. Self. Right? Yeah. No, no, self produced and Dan. Okay. All right. So uh, four albums and then uh, 800 pounds. So the ones that you self produced are you, those are the ones you're replicating and putting on a different label. I own the masters on four of my albums. Okay. Staycation has the, is owned by 800 for these three years or five years and then um so i re-recorded some old jokes Mm -hmm. and steak and some staycation stuff could also go because it can't pause because it's never going to be aired so um wait they started a second record company a second label did you move your stuff onto that label that you're at 800 pound label did you yeah as far as i know now i i don't know if they're playing it i'll find out in a week i guess so you talked to 800 about moving corset to their secondary yeah or bruce did, label or yeah. bruce did and that's what they're going to try to uh, submit it as? I think that's the, the deal. That's the idea. That's the deal. Yeah, that, like, well, you know. Well, and I know Jack from 800, uh, from XM Sirius has started a production company I, where I he know. is doing specials and uh, albums now. He's the guy who does programming. Okay. Um. Which so he's he will have content any minute now. So Kate, I know that some people. Yeah, you would imagine. <laughs> I I have I have two mm-hmm. words. Just yeah. type some thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna type. <laughs> here's here's my thought. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Remember that guy who had a seminar? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so that's that it felt like I was riffing off of your your thought. Oh, I thought he was involved in the okay. Oh no. No, no, he's he's dead to us. He's dead. To us. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that guy, he's he's the Kyle Cease of mm-hmm. uh anyway, so um who t- took himself out. Kyle did. But uh of stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he took himself out of stand up and put himself in money. Uh, is he still? Right. Is he still doing know. that that thing? That, that I I, I thing? looked and I did not see. I looked. His website does not seem current. Like he might have made a Scrooge McDuck pile of money. Yeah, maybe. And then sure. moved to an island off of Vietnam. We don't know. Maybe he has like his own bouncy house. What do you know, Kyle? Don't. I'm. I'm okay. pontificating on that too. Okay, so I saw the I, move of your microphone, and I, I was like, just yeah, wanted to just wanted something. to make sure you guys seemed like there was a joke coming, so I wanted to make sure that the laugh mic was ready. <laughs> oh man! No, I got the- you guys want the conscious <laughs> thought mic. there. Sometimes I try to feel I'm like, all right, it's quiet. We're gonna get a joke. Laugh. No jokes. <laughs> There's a rhythm. <laughs> I do. I I I put I put Kyle Cease in the same category as Buzz Sutherland. Where you remember Buzz? I, was I don't. Talking- that's San Francisco guy, I think, right? No, 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 no. Uh, Missouri, St. Louis. He was a college act for decades. And he wore, he did a Donald Duck impression. And he wore a sweater with Donald Duck on it. And these fucking moron college kids. <laughs> um, loved it. Loved it. Now, I, and I don't, I, I don't criticize Buzz. I'm like, you know what? Congratulations. <laughs> This is where we part ways, friend. This is where we, you can say fucking moron college kids, and I say <laughs> fucking moron buzz. Uh, <laughs> he was nice guy, and he made a ton of money. He was, he was not a creep. Nicest guy in the world. Nicest guy in the world, I bet. He made a ton of money, and uh, I, I- Donald I, Duck jokes, wearing a sweater. Don't want he, any part of it. Yeah. <laughs> 
watch. Have you ever been boxed in? Have you ever been boxed in at a party by someone who was so boring that you want to <laughs> kill yourself? That's got to be Buzz for me. It's not. Why? You, why I don't understand these attacks on a guy. I was just saying somebody figured out a way to make you it just fun. attacked an entire college NACA system. <laughs> I attacked one guy specifically about a sweater. Yeah, and I did the right thing and you did the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just type a couple of names into the chat here <laughs> and tell you that I once got boxed in by these two guys. Oh, and Jesus I almost, Christ. And I almost I took my own life. Yeah, yeah right. you don't know the second one. <gasps> no. Okay, we'll think of the first one. Right, and double but, them, but slower. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> slower talker. Yeah. yeah. There's no. There's. It, there's no justice. Well, there's no peace. Again, neither. Yeah. This nothing. Of, the these names have nothing to do with the delightful Buzz Sutherland. <laughs> I, if I can get back to this, I imagine made a shitload of money invested it properly he stayed in the midwest where life is affordable and he's probably living like a king off the missouri is not the midwest and i hope he is I how about that is. how about i take uh, how about i take a point also the fact that missouri isn't the midwest it's the west oh it's not it's not jack it feels yeah it can't the be west. the midwest it can't it, be the midwest not, i think of one the corridor west, it's the south but it's not the west so, it is not the Midwest. This is what we know, except for that they might consider themselves the Midwest. Jackie, you're from the Midwest. You're allowed to say it's not the Midwest, but I'm from the West, and it's not the West. That makes two of us, <laughs> and keep it out. Yeah, thank you. Both halves of the state reject. Thank you. North and South, or side to side. All right, let's <laughs> talk about Modesto, you guys. Are the people of Modesto particularly modest? What do you think? Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I just I'm trying to fill our, some time here. Our, our, I don't know what to tell with you. Marcella, who's from Modesto, I will be replaying this conversation to her so she can attack you. Let's also book that for the Patreon people. And uh, I think we already did. We did. It's already oh, we're we're gonna record it. We have a we have a date. Like, okay. Like I like you just thought of it. We already have this book. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm constantly working. Uh, uh, actually, I wasn't working at all. I did write. I have. Uh, I I didn't pull my notebook out. I only brought one pen, and I wow. couldn't find it most of the week that I was up in in Solvang. Another but, um, Another. But there was. Um, I have. Oh, I have a new punchline for my um, thinking about comedy sex joke. And yeah. I have a new, um, I have a new premise that is so big that it may not, it, I should possibly get a PhD and just write a thesis. <laughs> there should just be a dissertation. I really shouldn't even try because it's so fucking, it's too big. It's about loneliness and being alone. Who wow. doesn't, the comedy of what loneliness. What do you know about you that? You're married and you live with an 82 year That's You're right. not alone. 76 and uh yes and uh <laughs> right. the uh, <laughs> projecting my own life and, it, yes so. exactly and uh but i will say that um that yeah i i it's uh it's 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 that that how could i be lonely it's oh, about right. it's the theory yeah. is is you're just like if you're surrounded by people like I remember I was the youngest of six and I was a lonely child. There should have been no loneliness. There was certainly no aloneness uh, <laughs> because I shared a room. <laughs> we had a bunk and bed. couldn't have been quiet. I, I, I doubt there's a, there's not a quiet Cation. Is that correct? Am I correct? Scott Cation, quiet Cation, but that's because oh, he had that's epilepsy. Right. Yeah, and oh. uh, and so he took a lot of Valium and phenobarbital, and then um, and he had seizures, so it made him a little a little spookier than your average patient. And uh, <laughs> he's funny. He's still smart. He's very smart. And uh, yeah. but he's but he is quiet, and his sense of humor comes from a, a place that I blame the phenobarbital. Like sometimes it's like it can be like Russ Russ and my brother Terry can do mm -hmm. a little bit of a meaner joke sometimes yeah. and that's scott a little bit phil and i were just golden retrievers but <laughs> uh and darla could be mean chooses not to be that's what we love about darla cation darla we love darla 
Darla, Darla is you if you had chose a better profession. <laughs> like, you can always see a smarter version of yourself by just FaceTiming your sister. <laughs> uh, we can close on that. <laughs>